What happened to Takeru Kobayashi? Now, when I was growing up, Kobayashi was the god of hot dog eating. He was the undisputed master, the king, the grand champion. Watching videos of him eat hot dogs at that time were unbelievable. We hadn't seen anything like it. So I remember his strategy was usually he would take like two hot dogs, shove them all in his mouth, and then take the, bu the bun, dip it in water, and then just smash that in his mouth as fast as humanly possible. So Kobayashi, in the meantime, has not been doing as well. So on July 4th, we had the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest, and legendary eater Joey Jaws Chestnut ate 61 hot dogs in buns in the contest. So now, unfortunately, Kobayashi was not even at the event. He was at some low rent hot dog eating contest at a bar in New York City, unsanctioned, and hopefully he won. I mean, this reminds me of like when uh, like an NBA player after their glory days goes to like Turkey to play in their professional basketball league or after an NFL player you know, leaves his prime, he goes and he plays in the CFL or maybe the AFL. And come on, I mean, where I stand on this is once you've reached your prime, you know, just let it drop. It's like Seinfeld. That's the reason Seinfeld was so great because they ended it when it was appropriate to end it. So Kobayashi, I am not supporting your efforts. I understand that you still might like to competitively eat, but doing it at some low rent bar in Manhattan while the real world championship of hot dog eating is going on across the country is just kind of sad and depressing. Poor Kobayashi. So I don't know, I don't have any more on that. Let me know what you think in the comments below, folks.